Hey guys, I'm Mega Roblo here, and I want to answer a question for everyone. Um, why I don't like certain games? And yeah, in my opinion, moment. But there are certain games I do not like. And what I mean is, I'm I mean like, um, not just like games in certain fr certain franchises. Uh, I can't speak. I mean like other games I don't like. Like the Grand Theft Auto series or the Call of Duty series. And yeah, you might be like, oh my goodness, Call of Duty, the old games were awesome, but I really don't do. And again, there are a couple games I don't like in certain franchises that I like. For example, in the Mega Man X franchises. I, I know I, really, I know a lot of people know that I like Mega Man X. So, in the Mega Man X franchise, my least favorite game is X7. And I have a lot of reasons to hate that game. And no, it's not because of the bosses. It's because of the voice acting and other reasons. And also, what really makes me mad is that people say that um, in X7, X... Sorry, I got... People say that X7 is the first game where X has a male voice actor. I disagree. X6 actually has a male voice actor. Now, you might be like, oh, no, that's not for English. Like, nope. Actually, no. X4, the Rockman X4, the Japanese version of the game, I believe X has a Japanese a male voice actor. I'm not sure on that, but I know X6, he has a, a male voice actor. So... And also, people say that um, X has a good voice actor. I really disagree. Um, X4 and X8. Yeah, X4. In my opinion, X4 and X8 both have good voice actors. It's just that she was a female and that... Um, <laughs> Pop, what's the word? And that people were, like, um, being all sexist, racist. I don't... Being all sexism on them and be like, oh no, I'm female for a male character, that's just wrong. Personally, if it was me, I would do the same. Because X looks like a little kid. So, yeah. That's my rant with X7 and X4. But, continuing on, I really don't like Call of Duty nor Grand Theft Auto. People would disagree on me, but would be like trying to convince me to play the games, but. I've always hated those two games as a kid, and I still hate them to this day. Call of, or, sorry, Grand Theft Auto, it's to a point where I get a little bit of interest, and I'm like, no, no, nah, never mind. But Call of Duty, I have this deep burning hate for the game, and I don't know why I did that. Like, with my hand, so. Okay, I'm sorry. But, um. When I was a kid, I saw Call of Duty, and I was like, Oh no, this game is evil, this game will corrupt people, this game will kill everyone! Yeah. <laughs> I had that mindset. Yeah, and I also thought, why can't people play Pokemon? Pokemon is awesome! Again, I had that mindset as a kid. <laughs> and then, I grew up a bit in both mentality and age, and I'm now like, Call of Duty? Pfft. They can go play and blow their heads off. I don't care. I'm just going to be over here and play Solar Boy the Jing- Or, sorry. Um, the Django, the Sun- Or, Bokai! Ah, uh, sorry. Bokai, the Sun's in your hand. Or play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Or play a really good game other than Call of Duty. Because they could just play Grand Theft Auto on their, their hand. I was like, that looks interesting. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm done. And then there are other games that I do have to use to support. Undertale, for one. Um, people say that it sucks. It's not the game itself. The game itself is awesome. It's a fandom. I personally hate some of the fandoms, like um, the shipping between Sans and Toriel, and like the Papyrus and Metaton ships. I really disagree. Heck, and actually, to me, those fandoms kind of suck. I'm more of a um, Sans is dark and lonely and he needs a friend kind of fandom. And I think I'm the only person out there who thinks that Sans needs a, f a true friend other than Frisk and Toriel. And I just bet on my phone. Typical me. And yeah. 
And again, it's not the game itself that sucks. It's some of the fans. Like, and even if I'm like, oh, all those fans sucks. I also do, do agree with that statement. It's some fans. I mean, I know some fans who are out there and is like, Gaster abused Sans, or, yeah, Sans and Papyrus. I agree with that fandom. I also agree that, um, Gaster was a good dad, which, when I mean good dad, I mean, um, if, like, his sons get hurt, he'll help them. And so, I'm not, like, I'm in between, like, the fandoms are bad and fandoms are good. I'm, I'm in between. I'm, like, some fandoms are good, fan. Some fandoms are horrid. And, yeah. And I could go on and on about how fandoms suck. But I want to actually cover one last thing. And that last thing is um, people who mod games and people who find the beta of games. I like those people a lot. Oh, and the people who find glitches. I like those people a lot. Those communities out there who, like... Um, put the unused beta graphics in games. I like those people. I also like glitch hunters. Um, one of my favorite um, YouTubers is um, A Plus Dart, and another one of my favorite YouTubers is um, Beta Sixty Four, and their their posts very good. Um, and as much as I would love to praise those YouTubers. Um, there are some of the good YouTubers out there, like, um, yeah, like, <laughs> thanks, Paul, for speaking for me. But, as I was about to say, like, Psycho, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, there's Psycho, Arum Dude, is also pretty good. Um, I'm trying to remember the other people, sheesh. Um, did you know Gaming, they're, they're pretty good. Um, Jacob Conroy actually did a V on Blade Chronicles about, like, the, on the, the beta content of the game. And I, I saw that and I thought it was pretty cool. Um. And there's a, there's a lot of good YouTubers out there who help out with the gaming community. Um. There's Boxbox, I believe his name is. Um. And then there was one other dude who I can't remember his name, but he does, um, Out of Bounds or something. And I'm kicking my door now. And <laughs> I startled the cat. Um, but still, those gaming communities that, like, help out, like, those people who are curious about the games. And now my cat just smacked the door. And then she's walking to the zoomer, and now... Dancing on my ma my mom's coat. Oh. <sighs> Silly cat. They're pretty good. And I keep repeating myself. I'm like a parrot. So I'll see you guys in the next episode because I really need to make a phone call and all I've been doing is just yammering my tail off. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.